As entrepreneurs, we face countless decisions on a daily basis. There's always something new that we're being exposed to. There's always a new platform, a new way to sell, a new, a new uh, repricer tool, a new keyword. And now we have AI and chat G GDP and, you know, we're, we're making stuff on laser printers and like, I mean, 3D laser printers, all kinds of options for us to continue to innovate, to continue, continue to grow, continue to change. But my question to all of us is, how do we know if we're making all the right decisions when all of these options are coming at us so fast and so frequently? This new fill in the blank, this new tool, software, conference, program, business model, YouTube video sounds amazing and I'm scared I'm gonna miss the opportunity. Y'all, can we just take a breath for a second? Just take a breath for a second. And just be aware if you, if you struggle, if you're relating here, just take a moment to breathe and be like, yes, yes, I relate. But we relate in a, a stressful, negative way, right? We're not just like, heck yeah, I totally relate. That's awesome. No, we relate because it's a struggle and we're driving the struggle bus when it comes to all of these decisions that we have to make. So the question is, how do we stop ruminating over the decisions and actually make some that are going to make an impact? impact on our business because y'all this is a business podcast right so we want to make an impact on our bottom line that's why we're in business right so i have to ask you this are you an ap graduate you know who you are and you know what ap is right you have a degree in ap some of us overthinking analysis paralysis graduate that's what ap is are you an ap graduate an analysis paralysis graduate you chase all the shiny objects. Are you overanalyzing? Are you overthinking on a regular basis? I know the struggle is real. We get stuck in this research mode, hello forever. Analysis paralysis. Well, for my AP grads, <laughs> I'm just using this as a positive, right? Because we all struggle with this. And most of you as Amazon sellers and bundlers, specifically bundlers, are going to struggle with AP at some point. AP. We're just calling you, 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 you know, I, I'm going to make t-shirts. I swear. That's like, I'm an AP graduate and people are going to be like, AP, what is that? And we're like, you're not in the club. You don't know. You don't know. And instead of trying to make this such a negative, shameful guilt thing, which we're not going to do. Why? Because we're naturally hardwired to question things, to wonder, to worry, to be um, fear averse, to, to be risk averse. You know, we don't want to take chances. We, we think that we're protecting ourselves from some sort of imminent harm when we overanalyze. That's actually what we're doing. We have this false sense of protection that we're saying, to, oh no, I gotta keep thinking about this and keep thinking about this because what if? Because what if I make the wrong choice? What if I make, want to lose money? What if I get suspended? What if my third tire on the back of my car falls off and rolls down the road? Like, honestly, we can get stuck in AP <clears throat> forever. In the Amazon world, there are so many things that we can overthink. So many things. There are so many Facebook groups and YouTube channels and blogs and books and tools and co courses all shoved at you all at the same time. And it is really, really hard to stay focused. Is it not? Y'all, I'm going to tell you a little, another little story because I'm with you here. See, when you hear me in this microphone, when you see me on this video and you think that that you're all alone or that I'm talking at you, y'all, I am side by side. I have my arm linked on this side with somebody, arm linked on this side. I'm like, we're doing this together, right? Because it's really hard for me to stay focused too. You guys, this by this morning, I was supposed to have three or four different things done on my list. I had to go to my YouTube channel to, um, you know, answer some comments and things like that. And then guess what I saw? I saw, oh, there's this live video going on with some friends in the space and I want to join their live video. So I spent an hour hanging out with them. Now, is that bad time spent? Absolutely not. It's super valuable to spend time like that. But what is the thing I didn't get done because I did that? Because I didn't stay focused because I was chasing a shiny object. Even if the shiny object is awesome and valuable, is it on your priority list today? Because if you replace something that's on your list today, it's going to be there for you tomorrow. It's going to be there for you tomorrow. So that hour that I spent on YouTube on a live commenting and hanging out with some cool people 
was fun and and valuable and i learned a couple of like golden nuggets but what was i doing what what was i putting off that i wasn't doing at that time because that's not what i was supposed to be doing i was distracted by a shiny object i saw this live video going on and i thought oh my gosh they're live like i have a chance to chat and ask questions i can't miss this i had some fomo and instantly and i made the choice to jump on and hang out for a bit it wasn't a bad choice but now i have a choice to be like wow i'm supposed to record two podcasts today and now i'm only going to get one of those done because i spent another hour doing this i want to talk about why i feel the need for fomo or where we all feel like that and the reason and, and what we can do to fix it what we can do to fix it well overthinking may be built into your personality and analysis paralysis and being distracted and all the different shiny objects it might be part of just your natural personality and that's okay i'm not trying to change your personality but if we're not deriving benefits from our analysis paralysis then we're going to overthink ourselves to death. We're not going to take any action. We're going to be in the same place in the same chair that we were a year ago, not making any progress because analysis paralysis will keep you busy, but it won't keep you moving in the right direction. It's really hard to stay focused, but when it comes to the tools for your business, decisions are hard. Decisions are hard. There's not, there's no shortage of products and services and courses to buy. Am I right? I mean, even for me, even as a business owner, there are things bombarded. I mean, if I opened my Instagram right now, y'all would see like 10 or 15 different ads of somebody trying to tell me how to one up my business. I get it. It's really noisy out there and there's so many distractions. There's no shortage of services or products to buy to grow your business. So which ones do you actually need? How do we get make start making decisions? That's the biggest thing about analysis paralysis. That is the 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 solution that's really the solution the solution to analysis paralysis to overthinking to being an ap graduate is to actually make a decision and take action on something even if it's not the best decision even if you're a perfectionist and you're trying to get the most perfect decision you have several options and you're just weighing them down more weighing them out more the only antidote to this is to actually take action towards the thing that you want. So 